vastly experienced figure of Otto Hovanesian. 25 years of age is the man from Armenia, and no stranger to competing on the global stage. This is his second Aiba World Boxing Championships, having finished as a quarter finalist two years ago in Yekaterinburg. His opponent is Germany's Argipsi Tatarian. And as you can guess from his name, he was actually born in Armenia. A name that suggests Armenian heritage, but that's where the man was born. Currently resides in Halle, part of a full-strength German boxing team, a boxer in each of the 13 weights being contested here in Belgrade 2021. Cho Jung Suk of the Korean Republic is our referee. She's issued the final instructions, and we're about ready for the start of action. So we're underway then. Three three-minute rounds scheduled in the men's 51 kilogram flyweight division. This is the second lightest of the 13 weights being contested here. Here at Belgrade 2021, the weight classes have been expanded. Lead left hook from the man wearing red, Arta Hovhannisian, not too far away. So much experience under the belt of Hovhannisian. Compact operator. Very effective on the inside. The man wearing blue is Argishti Taturian, born in Armenia, representing Germany, and that's hitting on the break for sure. The referee issued the command of break. It is quite a noisy arena among the various announcement that is announcements that are taking place in two rings. And, of course, the chatter from the respective corners. But a left hook was stunned in, partially blocked by the gloves. Hovhannisian, long with the attempted right hand, looking to establish his jab is Tatarian. Despite very similar height, you can see there's a greater length about the limbs of Tatarian, and he's trying to establish those now just as he did there with a beautiful left jab and then just move backwards. The attempted counter falling short from Hovhannisian. And there's a beautiful right hand over the top from the man in red. Over the low held left that was attempting to initiate a clinch and again Hovhannisian hitting after the command of stop. That's a good right hand to the body from Tatarian. Looking to use the space of the ring. Steadily increasing his pressure with his feet, his Hovhannisian, but that's good work to the body by Tatarian. Forearm applied as the boxers came together on the inside. Nice defense with the right glove. Answered the telephone, put his right glove up to the temple, and the glove and the forearm blocked the hook that was swung in by Hovhannisian. And again, pecking left hand success by Tatarian, fainting. Beyond punching range for the more compact figure in red and beginning to peck and poke him with long straight shots. But Hovhannisian, aware of that, goes in search of his get back. As Aibra ambassador here in Belgrade 2021, Roy Jones Jr. was fond of saying. Closing 30 seconds of this opening round. It's been a competitive opening round as well. Tatarian, success at this type of territory with a long straight shot, but then Hovhannisian going in search of bent arm work. Hooks to both body and head, and that is why it's producing a really aesthetically pleasing affair, contrasting statues and styles, and they're blending wonderfully here as Hovhannisian goes through the gears with bent arm work on the inside. A counter right hand came over the top from Tatarian. He looks to initiate a clinch, but he's shouldered off by Hovhannisian, who ended the round by digging a good right hand to the body. Action packed three minutes to open this second bout of the second day here in Ring A at Belgrade 2021. So Aiba Live scoring in effect, and Hovhannisian's bent arm marauding tactics being preferred by four of the five scoring judges. The Hungarian judge, 
scoring in favour of Tatarian. Some of the action from the opening round. And again, just that first replay shows us how the contest played out over that first round. But you see Hovanisian with the bent arm shots. They're heavier. More power on them as evidenced by that left hook there. And his style proving effective. Hovanisian electing to remain on his feet in between the rounds, just showing his opponent that he's ready to go. How are you feeling? So into the second round then. Tatarian, a whole host of podium finishes in the German National Championships, including a bronze in 2019. Took the youth title in 2016 at 49 kilograms. Terrific left hook to the body, right hand over the top. Tatarian responded with a right hand of his own. And again, body hunting continuing from Hovanisian, looking to bring those arms down, and that's a wicked left hand to the solar plexus, and then he whipped it around to the liver. Terrific work before bringing a left hook upstairs. And Taturian, he's keeping himself in the contest, but he's being outpunched here, and the shots coming from the compact figure in red are heavier and more potent, being perfectly placed by Hovanisian. And you can see him continuing to chop away at the body of the taller figure, looking to bring him down to his own eye level with this unrelenting body attack. There's a nice right uppercut left hook in response from Taturian. But the greater volume variety is coming from the fist of the man in red, outworking his man considerably through the first minute and 20 seconds of this second round. Terrific start to build upon the 4-1 lead that he established at the conclusion of three minutes. to Turian backing off just to get a little bit of respite. Comes back with a right-hand lead of his own. Hovanisian, will he be able to maintain the pace that he set? It was a terrific tempo. Sprinting out of the blocks effectively to begin this second round. Four-time national champion of Armenia. The most recent of his titles coming in 2018 at 52 kilograms and he comes to the ring as the reigning European Games titleist as he whips in another right hand to the body right hand left hook success for Taturian but that's a beautiful left jab right hand the second shot behind the left jab was solid indeed and then Hovanisian going down to the body to sink in another shot above the belt line targets the left to the body once again Taturian counters with a right hand of his own but now volume being produced by Hovanisian with less than a minute to go in this second round. It's been a dominant second frame so far. Nice defense with the right glove once again from Taturian, who is really trying to get some leverage onto that body work now. But look at the double left hand to the body from Hovanisian, and it brings about a standing count. Taturian frustrated, but he is being worked over to both head and body from the marauding attacks of Arta Hovanisian. Closing seconds of what has been a terrific second round for the man in red. Remember, Aiba scoring a trip to the canvas or a standing count won't necessarily result in a 10-8 round, but this could well have some 10-8 rounds in favor of Hovanisian because 10-9 is for a close round, 10-8 is for a clear winner, 10-7 for total domination. And I don't think there's any doubt that Hovanisian put an increasing amount of daylight between himself and Taturian over in the blue corner. And there you see three 10-8 rounds returned from the judges from Ukraine, Chinese Taipei and Puerto Rico going into the third and final round. Hovanisian in complete control after a brilliant second three minutes of boxing. Came charging out of the gate, really put it on his man to both head and body. And credit to Taturian. Remember, he's born in Armenia. The man who resides in Halle kept himself in the contest, but there was no danger of him winning that second round because of accurate, hurtful shots like that being powered in. And the work to the body was doubling over to Taturian, and that's when the referee intervened to issue the count. So into the third and final round we go then. Oh, to Hovhannisian participated in the Rio Olympic Games, down at 49 kilograms. And again, he lands an arcing right hand onto the chin of Taturian, who has made a bright start to this third and final round in a bid to get himself back into the contest. With Aiba Live scoring, the coaches are in possession of the scores just as we are. 
And one would have thought that they'll share it with the boxers to say, listen, you're trailing heavily after six minutes of boxing. You need to put it on this guy and preferably get him out of there. To tell Jan, full of desire and determination, but he takes another left hand to the body, then a right hand between the elbows. His ribs are going to, are going to be sore tomorrow, that's for sure. Well, Vanisian just spoken to about punching with the inside of the glove. You can see here at Belgrade 2021, the gloves no longer red and blue to match the uniforms of the boxers. Instead, they are white gloves and the red and blue representing the corners represented by the logo on the weapons. Beautiful left jab out of a crouch from Hovanisian. Just drive the head of Tatarian backwards. And again, you have to credit the man's commitment and conditioning. That's wrestled to the canvas there by Hovanisian. He's keeping his composure terrifically, content to remain in the pocket. He takes a good left hand to the body, but then responds and away. Teterian dropped his hand. You can bet that he felt those shots that were sunk in. Right hand over the top, which came on a downward trajectory, was a good shot. And then a right hand to the body as he was pulling him down with the left. Sends Teterian down to the canvas. The referee of the opinion that it's the body shot that sent him over rather than the, rather than the tug. Second standing count of the contest. Taterian bravely back into the breach, gets his own body work away, but look at how much heavier the work coming from the gloves of the man in red is. He's tattooed his opponents all around his torso, the ribs, the solar plexus, sometimes straying into the realm of a kidney punch as he's got more leverage on it. He's just gone around the back of his opponent, but he's brought the hands down with work such as that, right hand but beneath the elbow once again. And Taterian's really struggling to retain his boxing stance here now. 30 seconds to go. He takes a big, in in a big gulp of breath as he's hit to the body once again by the accurate right hand of Taterian, who then showed good head movement in the pocket. And he's continuing to tee off to both body and head. And Taterian is just shrinking by the second. Look at that, how he's doubled over. And work to the body will do that. Good work to the body and head from Taterian. Right hand downstairs, then left hook upstairs. A dominant performance by Arta Hovanisian, the reigning European Games champion, with a statement of intent to begin his second world championships here in Belgrade 2021. The quarter-finalist from Yekaterinburg two years ago out to make it through to the medal podium, get himself some championship hardware and indeed some prize money because it's 200,000 US dollars that is on offer per weight division, a total prize fund of 2.6 million. Let's get the official verdict, which should see Hovhannisian storm through to the round of 16. And there is confirmation. Arta Hovhannisian with a unanimous point decision verdict over Argisti Taterian of Germany. But in that all Armenian affair, Taterian a distant second best because he was put under pressure right from the opening belt. And in the second and third rounds, Hovhannisian really put his foot on the gas, cranked up the pressure. And Taterian, truth be told, took two standing counts and did well to make it through to the final belt because he was hit hard, he was hit often. And in the end, he showed plenty of toughness, desire and commitment. And it's those qualities that kept him in the contest until the bell sounded to conclude the third and final round. A very good performance indeed by Arta Hovhannisian. He goes through to the round of 16 where he will face off against Roscoe Hill of the United States of America. That bout scheduled for the evening session on the 1st of November.